Yes, Coleman Hughes. He's, Coleman he's, Hughes he's is young, not from the man. States. Coleman Hughes is an immigrant. And, and Were so you aware of that? That, that means... Well, I'm not sure what the what the relationship is, is that that he's an immigrant. Why would why would you allow an immigrant to talk on Black American issues? Well, he's not speaking solely on Black American issues. He's speaking about the issue of racism. What would general. he know about racism? He's an immigrant. Anything that he comes um, from in Africa or Nigeria or wherever he's from is going to be better here in the states. Do you not think if that you, maybe his perspective is slightly skewed being an immigrant? I mean, his perspective is definitely very different, but I don't know if it has anything to do with him being an immigrant because when you are an immigrant, you know, you, you have the double burden of both being an immigrant and being a person of color or being black. So most people that are immigrants, you know, they experience, you know, both folds of discrimination. Um, but to, to say that people that are immigrant in are less, knowledgeable about, about racism. You know, there are black people who have grown up here for many, many years, you know. Um, the guy that wrote the book, Gifted Hands, um, who was running for president, you know, there's plenty of black people who are, don't talk about racism and don't think we should speak about racism. I think, um, you know, so. I think there are a lot of people, I think those are the vocal minority, right? Kind of like the, the white people who think that kids should go to drag queen story hour. Right. Kind of like the white people who take their kids to doctors and then get them on uh, hormones and whatnot. That are putting their kids on hormone back, blockers. But... OK, so I was trying to circle back to our original conversation because this is so. Uh, no, so it's it's pretty it's pretty but on no, par. I don't think... You don't think it's. No, I, of course okay. I, don't, I don't think okay. that people who have children who are trans children are the majority. It does, or at least I don't have enough information to say, but just looking, you know, and, it, you know, just looking out. Do you think I should very have a, a person, a white, a white woman from Denmark talk about the white woman experience here in the States? Um, I, I don't know, but if she was talking about. You don't white know. Woman's experience in general. You don't, I mean, I you don't, don't know. know why, I don't know what you would be looking for. You know, I mean, like, you could have some other curiosity that I don't know for why you might want to entertain that kind of conversation. Yeah, I, you, you, know. you have no I idea. Mean, it could be a, a million okay. Things. <laughs> All right. Gotcha. Okay. All right. But, you know, what I did of origin, I think a lot of it is that for some black people, it's like a shame thing. Like they don't want to admit to being a victim of racism because they feel like it's, you know, sort of um, uncomfortable or, or some people also feel like racism is such an is such a thing that we'll never overcome. So then it's better to just not even talk about it. Just to you know find other things. Well, that the are only more people who'd be able to live in the states. I don't know where you're calling from, but I don't, as an American, I only care about America. Maybe you like to travel and concern yourself about what's going on in Canada. I don't know uh, Denmark, but as an American, I concern as far as with Americans. But go on. Yeah, and I, I hear you. But And I guess where I'm going is, is bigger than this conversation of just racism is that people mm. find ways to distinguish themselves from others. So it's more of like a, a tribalism. So even if there wasn't... Well, tribalism racism, and racism say, are two different things. But yes, absolutely. 